Hey guys, my name is Thorne Bradley and this is my YouTube channel and it's also an opportunity for me to give people longer form contextual based advice. Um, things for life, fitness, nutrition, all that great stuff. Now I know a lot of people in this last year have discovered me through TikTok or Instagram based on my cool outdoor videos or my fun sort of aesthetic play on what I want content to look like. So of course there's been a, a, a very recent influx of people who don't know much about me. Now this is not a place to put my resume. This is not an opportunity for me to boast or brag, um, but I am masters educated and beyond um, on the subject of exercise physiology and you know everything that includes nutrition, physiology, wellness, um, and was a strength and conditioning coach for a long time in the NCAA and worked for a university. So um, all of those opportunities gave way for me to work with many different populations of people. Um, and you would think, you would think that within those populations of people, there would be massive differences between massive differences between, you know, highly competitive athletes and then just your everyday people who are just trying to lose five to 10 pounds to fit into a pair of jeans or lose their first 50 pounds because things got out of hand and they got diabetes and got out of weight. Uh, uh, I mean, out of shape, all that stuff just to say that I've spent all these years trying to learn the physiology that happens um, within the body, the changes that take place within adaptation responses and cell signaling cascades and um, all, of these, all of these super detailed hard science topics. None of them, unfortunately, none of them are relevant um, to people who are trying to change their body within the context of the fact that your health, your wellness, your adherence, your ability to make significant changes in your life and your physical wellness are not predicated on you knowing what's actually taking place within the cell. So I spend a lot of time um, just to find out that the average population, not even the average everyday population, didn't need any of this information. So then, I come to this place, I come to this crossroads where it becomes, okay, well then what does this all fucking mean? What was the point? What was the purpose? Um, why do I have this knowledge and how can I actually use it now to help people if they don't really need it to make the changes that they should be making in their life? So now I come to a place where I own an app. I run, manage, and design an app, a wonderful app that I'm very proud of called Oak. Um, I will link it in my, um, I will link it in the, you know, the notes of the, the video, but what I'm trying to get at is people come to me, come to a lot of influencers, but come to me, um, uh, with questions about how do I motivate myself? Um, I haven't been able to work out because blank. I am not able to do this or that because I don't know how. Uh, write me a program, tell me what to eat. I'll tell people, hey, we're just gonna learn how to track our macros and they don't like that, they'd rather be told exactly what to eat. Now, what is that? What is that taking place, what's happening? Well, people as a species really like the idea of structure. We really love the idea of somebody giving us the insight into information that we didn't have before. And then us using that small bit of fill in the blank uh, paint by numbers to just get the results that we're praying, crossing our fingers for and hoping for um, because we don't want to put in that little bit of extra legwork that it's going to take to just educate ourselves on how this process works, work with a professional and then take that advice and use it to apply it to our own life and then use that flexibility of tracking your macros, use that flexibility of learning the odds and ends to then apply it to deal with the variability that exists in our own lives. What do I mean by that? Well, if I tell you to eat chicken and rice every single day, how long will you do it for? Well, the division one athletes I worked with, if I gave them a meal plan, they stick with it for about five to six weeks. And we're talking about people who, um, to say the least are highly motivated. So what about just the everyday person? Well, probably about the same. They can probably stick to an exact meal plan for a little while. 
Um, in, in optimal scenarios, maybe they can stick to one for a month. But after that month, a time comes where then life happens. Instances take place. Uh, variability comes about. Stress at work. Relationship changes. Uh, familial problems. You get it. So I'm not going to set people up to lose when those things begin to happen. I refuse to. And I'm not going to be the influencer. I'm not going to be the person that pretends that all of these insights into the perfect ideal scenario are actually going to fucking work for anybody because they don't. And they won't. Because the one biggest gap in this industry that is not being addressed is human variability. The differences in life, the differences in changes, the differences in patterns that take place from one life to another human life are never going to line up perfectly with whatever bits of advice you give people to follow to a T. So what people need is education. And when you give people that education, the ability to make decisions in their own life and the ability to give them some looser guidelines that they can apply every day, people make changes. That's why I'm seeing changes. That's why I've always been a successful coach is because I do have the deeper knowledge to understand what is the optimal outcome. But I also know, realistically speaking, it's about what somebody can do for 100 days, for 1,000 days, not what somebody can do for 10. Um, those are boring topics to talk about, so I'll leave it at this today. And this is going to be sort of... Um, my overarching statement of the day. And I want you to listen closely because I fear a lot of people hear my bits of advice and they go, oh, that's common sense, obviously. Well, common sense isn't so common and oftentimes people really struggle to apply these concepts to their everyday life. So I'm going to leave with just this one powerful statement. You don't need a new program. You don't need the perfect diet. The reasons why you haven't gotten to your goals are 95 to 98%. Let's not say 100 because that's a little bit of an overstatement. Let's say they're about 98% just because you don't have the fucking consistency to yield the results that you're looking for. Is that harsh? Absolutely. But it applies to everybody in every scenario and every portion of their life. The only reason... And I mean this, you could buy my app or subscribe to it. It's not a one-off purchase, but you could subscribe to my app. You could read every one of my captions. You could pick my brain on all of the details about how a muscle works and how you can optimize your results in the gym. None of those tips, none of those insights, none of those facts will ever amount to the reasons why you're not getting results. Um, people will come to me and say, you know, I've been on the couch for five years and I really haven't been taking care of my body. Motivate me, help me, give me a reason to get moving. Um, give me a program to follow. I get it. I get it. And that's what I'm here to do. It's what I've made my entire fucking living on in my whole life is to be an expert in the field of exercise science. Unfortunately, exercise science will never be the fucking reason why people are not getting these results. It isn't. It's not because you lack in the science. It's not because you lack in the know-how. It's because you haven't been moving. It's because you're not eating great. It's not because you don't know enough. This entire industry is predicated and built on the foundational fact that people who are professionals or maybe semi-professionals have knowledge and they dangle that carrot over the heads of people who don't and tell them without this, you will not get your results. I'm sorry, I have lots of great tips, bits and advice. It's not the reason why you're not getting results. You don't need me to get results. You need to be walking more. You need to be moving more. You need to be getting off your ass more often. You need to be not stagnant for the majority of your life. And most importantly, you need to stop putting the likelihood that you're going to exercise today and tomorrow on whether or not the day happens to you just right for it to take place. Food is important. Water, oxygen is important. Those are things that keep us alive. Exercise is right below those. And I mean right below those. If you do not move, your brain does not function the way it needs to function. The only reason we have limbs is to go help us um, find, collect, gather things, food to keep this 
consciousness, this existence going so that we can procreate, we can continue on with life. That's the only reason why we have limbs. So if you're not using your body, everything else will continually downstream start firing improperly. Things will start to fall out of place. You do not need the awesome tidbits of advice that I have to lose that first 10 pounds. You don't need some fancy diet. You don't even need an exercise program. All you ever needed to do was to move, to exercise, to get active, to move your body. And you didn't need any of those professional tidbits of advice. I'm sorry, you don't need any of the fitness industry to lose weight. You don't. In fact, you will be very shocked to find you had the answers all along, which was you needed to eat a little bit healthier and move a whole hell of a lot more. People like me, professionals, come about when you want to start fine-tuning the details, when you want to start coming to a place where you're getting better results out of the effort you're putting in. But we are not the reason, and we will not be the reason, why you do or do not lose 50 pounds. You didn't need keto, you didn't need a diet plan, you didn't need a specific intermittent fasting window to lose that first 50 pounds. In fact, you have a very large margin of error based on the fact that you're not using your body very much and you're eating like shit and you already know it. I know this isn't the funnest thing to hear and it comes across as me demeaning or looking down upon or sort of patronizing the people who are listening. That's not my goal. My goal is to remind you today that you don't need to get your wallet out to start seeing results. You never needed to find that perfect plan. You never needed um, the right diet plan to follow that was finally gonna get you the results. You needed the awakening to understand that you always had the common, very accessible knowledge you needed, which was you needed to be more active and make some smarter lifestyle decisions. And stop waiting for your day to dictate whether or not you exercise. You needed to put yourself before you put other people so that you put yourself in a position to be healthier and then the loved ones around you can then benefit from having a happier, healthier you. I, I fear that a lot of people would like to put their expertise as that carrot. If you, if you invest, if you pay for me, if you listen to the things I have to say, it will finally yield you the results you're looking for. I'm sorry, if you just started moving more and eating better, you would get some pretty good results as well. So my point being this, when you find yourself not getting the results you look, you're looking for, when you find yourself struggling, grasping at straws, trying to get your wallet out to show yourself that you're making that intensive and intentional move into the right direction, remind yourself, please remind yourself, that the reason you're 100 pounds overweight the reason you haven't been going to the gym is not because you don't have the knowledge. It's because you have not put that as the priority into your health, your existence, and your well-being. And until you find the efficacy that exists within activity, you never will. So start, please, start with the small baby steps that it takes to show yourself that you can consistently exercise because you understand the large, huge implicational benefits that it has upon your life, your existence, and your well-being. That's all I have for you today. As always, I love and appreciate all the individuals that sit around and wait and listen to me, um, but you never needed me in the first place.